हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस लेक्चर इज आल्सो अवेलेबल इन द उर्दू और हिंदी लैंग्वेज इफ यू वांट टू वॉच इन द उर्दू और हिंदी लैंग्वेज यू कैन टेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम स्पेसिफिक स्पेशल इन डाटा पी एल सी कंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आर इंडस्ट्रियल कम्युनिकेशन टाइप्स इंडस्ट्रियल कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स वाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर एस टू थर्टी टू आर एस फोर एटी फाइव आर एस फोर डबल टू एंड वाट इज द आस्की एंड आर टी यू मोड ओके फर्स्ट इज कम्युनिकेशन टाइप दे आर टू कॉमन टाइप ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वन इज पैरल एंड सेकेंड इज सीरियल एंड यू कैन सी इन पिक्चर सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन एंड पैरल कम्युनिकेशन इन सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन दे आर टू डिवाइस इज अ वन रिसीवर वन इज अ ट्रांसमीटर एंड सेकेंड रिसीवर एंड बोथ आर कम्युनिकेट बाई वन वायर इन सीरीज यू कैन सी दिज अ बी वन बी टू बी थ्री इज आल द बाइट्स एंड इज अ कम्युनिकेटिंग बाई सीरीजल वे ओके बट इन केस ऑफ द पैरल कम्युनिकेशन दे आर एट वायर्स टोटल कम्युनिकेशन बाइट्स आर बी सेवन टोटल आर एट सो बोथ आर कम्युनिकेट बाई बाई सेवन एट वायर्स ओके इन सी पैरल वे ओके एंड यू कैन सी अदर पिक्चर दिस इज अ पैरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड डी जीरो एंड डी सेवन इज अ एट बाय बिट्स एंड इज कम्युनिकेटिंग बाय एट वायर्स ओके but in case of serial communication only one wire is enough to communicate okay and this is the last picture serial communication and parallel communication okay in nowadays serial communication is very common because in old time parallel parallel communication is, is common but is very costly if one wire is break you uh, you cannot communicate the two devices so uh, nowadays serial communication is very common in the industries communication protocol there are a lot of type of the communication protocol one you can see the profi bus profi net iu links mode bus field bus hot there are many type of the communication protocol but no other mode bus protocol is very common delta plc use mode bus protocol for serial communication okay it is a serial communication and this is a protocols okay and uh, you can see in delta plc mode bus very common uh, in case of the siemens plc profi bus profi net is a both are very common protocol in siemens plc communication but in delta plc case mode bus is very common okay you can see the a protocol of mode bus this is our data okay this are in yellow color this is our data and uh, this is a slave address a function code after a function code this is a over data and this is a crc 2 bytes theek hai okay. so this is a mode bus protocol frame you can see this is a frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 every frame has a one data okay and this is a rt 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 u mode communication and both frame has a distant 3.5 character Okay, this is a one protocol frame of the mode bus. No other mode bus protocol is very common, and Delta PLC use mode bus protocol for serial communication. Okay. Now, what is the now the question? What is the RS four eighty five, RS four double two, RS two thirty two, TCP IP? Okay. These are electric standard. Okay. These are different electric standard, and by using mode bus protocol, we can use all above electrical standard. Okay. No, what is the difference between RS four eighty five and RS two thirty two? And you can see in electric because both are electric standard, and in RS two thirty two, these are voltage range plus minus five to plus minus fifteen volt. But in case of RS four eighty five, is a plus minus three. To plus minus six volt, okay. In data PLC, they are serial communication by using mode bus protocol on RS two thirty two and RS four eighty five electrical standard. 
no next difference between rs 232 and rs 45 is the distance it's a very good for short distance uh, like uh, communication between plc and pc is a very short distance communication so mostly we use rs 232 like you, you can see the maximum cable length allow is rs 32 is a 50 feet sorry 50 feet but in case of uh, rs 45 the cable length is more than 4000 feet okay is a very highest and longest speed range communication in delta plc they are serial communication by using modbus protocol on rs232 and rs485 electrical standard we can use post standard in more uh, delta plc by using modbus protocol and you can see this is the electrical wiring of the rs232 this is a one is a receiver and one is a transmitter and there are three wires one is the tx other is rx and other is ground you can this is a very common cable industries this is a male and this is a female connector and both are connected by three wires But in case of the RS-485, the two wire communication, like this one is our master device and other is a slave and you can see the A and B, two wires and all the other devices, the, the dotted show, there are a lot of devices behind this and uh, every device is connected by two wires, okay, this is the difference between RS-485 and RS-232. Uh, you can see the network of RTU is a master of the master and uh, other is the slaves. Okay. ASCII mode uh, all data will be communicated in the character form. In Delta PLC, there is a serial communication by using Modbus protocol on RS232 and RS485 electrical standard by ASCII mode and RTU mode. In ASCII mode, mostly communication is by character form. It's not one and zero form. You can see this is you can see, like if we want to communicate forty, like you can see this is a seventy. We want to communicate seventy word between transmitter and receiver. Then in ASCII mode, they will send F character. The other character is red color other character, and by this character, both communication it will be happen both device will be communicated by these characters if i want to send 50 then i have to send a, 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 a ask mode will send two character okay in rtu mode all data will be communicated in zero and one is a binary bits in delta plc they are serial communication by using modbus protocol on rs232 and rs45 electrical standard by ascii mode and rtu mode as you can see this is a, a serial communication by using mode pass protocol ascii mode this is a over data and this is a protocol data like function address start and they are all are communicated by characters not bits and bytes okay you can see this is our data and in ASCII mode the 7 bit data and 7 bit data and 2 store bit is the protocol of the modbus communication and 1 parity bit okay this way our train of the data will move this is one is the data and this picture shows the 2 store bit and this show is a parity bit okay this way our data will move is the protocol of the mode bus communication and this is the rtu mode like same but in case of, this is a bits 8 bits in case of the ascii mode is a characters but in case of the rtu mode this is the bits okay and this is the uh, tcp ip network Modbus communication, same serial communication, Modbus protocol, but in case of the TCP IP, it will client and other will be server. This will mostly use in other PLC, in Delta PLC, mostly we use RS-485 and RS-232. 
the last one is the communication method like this is the old delta plc other master and vft and other PL, the slave both should be on mode bus communication its board rate should be same like 9600 and 9600 if you use orbit in delta plc as a master then you have to use pft in as a odd parity bit okay both are same should be same in ascii uh, sorry communication mode should be same like ascii ascii rtu rtu and electric standard both should be same a store bit should be same and id uh, if we, you, you you are using delta plc as a master it has is open like one master and slave id should be have like two three four is the slave id okay if you have any question on in this lecture you can ask the question on my comment box uh, you also send a message on my whatsapp number okay bye